I am now live. Let me just type my band of music. Hello everyone, this is my band. This is my band. I didn't manage to do worship last week. I wasn't feeling too good. I had to attend a funeral service. Hello, Patience Taunezri, how are you? Hello, Vimbai Mashava, how are you? How are you? Take someone, call a friend, invite someone. Can you, no, 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 can you, can you log me back in? Um, I just need to share first before you take your phone. Shalom, kata kata, shalom. Yes, Murisei, my band, Gilbert, Mashed Zanwa, how are you? Trifin, how are you, my dear? Please share the live. Chari, Hore, how are you? My band is live. Okay, I am also sharing this. Let me just share this platform. My band is live. I am also sharing. my band of music okay and i'm going to share on my platform i mean on my wall oh yeah sorry okay i'm gonna share on my wall and you see my band is not very technical my son just told me to to mute my volume how are you guys can you hear me can you just show by your some loves and some likes that you can hear me to God be the glory, to God be the glory. We give him all the glory this morning. I praise his holy name. I missed you guys. I did not get a chance to minister last week. But today I'm here. Uh, let me share on my, on my page, on my band of music before I start. Where is my band of music? I always want to share. And I also want to encourage uh, singers. If you're a gospel artist, uh, my band of music platform is going to be featuring other artists on my wall. I mean, on my page as a way to promote one another and as a way to just reach out to each other. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for those loves. Alice Zombe, how are you? Nicole Musa, how are you? How are you guys? How are you guys? So my band of music is going to reach out to others as a way to give back to the community through, uh, you know, uh, featuring others on my, on my platform, my band of music. So you can visit my band of music if you haven't already liked my page, my band of music. And you can also visit my, my what's not my, um, my YouTube. It's my band of music on YouTube also. And you can also visit my uh, Instagram. My Instagram, I think it's my banda 12. I think it says at S. Clarissa Kanja and my, my schoolmate. Clarissa, share the live, share the live. Perry Bills, how are you? Share the live with someone. So we're gonna be featuring other artists on my platform as a way to give back to the community. He's a great guy. Jay Overy. Your name is worthy to be praised. Jehovah is your name. My microphone is too low. Oh, 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 
want to worship you this afternoon. Tino kupai piri, tino kute na imari wakarura ma Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. We exalt your mighty name this afternoon as we lift up your name on high, your mighty God. Jehovah is your name. The Holy One of Israel is who you are. The great and mighty God, the I am that I am. The Holy One, Jehovah God. I praise your name, Jesus Christ. For you are the mighty warrior. Great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah. Have faith in God for a miracle. Have faith in God for a miracle. Have faith in God for a miracle. Because when I when I sing songs 
of worship in my language. I just feel this presence. I just feel this atmosphere because it's in my native language. He's a great God. Father, we bless your name. Father, we worship your mighty name. You are the Holy One, O Jehovah God. Lord, we bless your name. I depend on you, mighty God. On everything and anything I deserve, I desire in my life. I depend on you. Knowing that Jehovah God, you are my provider. You meet me at your point of need. According to your riches in glory, mighty God, you supply all my needs, O Father God. You perfect all my concerns. I worship you, Lord. I look up to the whole, to, to, to the hills. And where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. My joy comes from the Lord. My supplication comes from the Lord. Everything I desire comes from you, Jehovah God. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I lift up your name on high. Murimariva no gona Jehovah. Murimariva no zia. Murimariva katende ka jeso. Rumbids wai maskata no matekwana no mangwana nano. Ngoa zose shet no kurumbidza i jeso. Nekuti mune nyasha zino kara neku singa peri peri. Manana Israel. Baba i famba wa chiba ku. Ku Egypt kunjibo ye Egypt. Kunjibo ya kanga isiri musha wako. Ini marima kawa tunga mira. By day with the clip, I mean with the pillar of cloud, and by night with the pillar of fire, until they got to the promised land. Yes, it's only their children that were able to enter the promised land. But you led them, you fed them, you clothed them, you took care of them, you did everything and anything that needed to be done. Lord, you were there for them. So, Lord, I pray the same prayer that God never leave me, not that's forsake me. Never leave your children, never forsake your children that are watching right now, Almighty God. What they desire, meet them at the point of need, Jehovah God. Rumbits why tens we could end. Rumbits why Mariva Karuram. Rumbits why Muchina we would carry. Jehovah Makana Kaishi. We praise your name. We praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah.
is a mighty God of heaven. Tuenda kutenga kusina jipomero, kusina nenamo, kusina uruwere, kusina jakaipa, kusina. Jehovah, we bless your name. Kusina ne namo. Kusina jipomero. Hallelujah. Toyenda kudenga ikoko kuna jesu. Father, we bless your name. Father, we bless your name. Continue to share the life. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Agi. Thank you, patience. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your mighty name. He's a great and mighty God. Kusina ne namo, kusina jipomero. Toyenda kune, ikoko, ikoko kudenga, ikoko kusina ne namo, ikoko kusina jipomero. Father, 
Father, we bless your name, Jehovah God. He is the Father of all Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. Munenyasha ishere kudenga baba. Tinokurumbi zai, tinokutenda, tinokupaimbiri Jehovah Rehumi. Marima kanaka. Marima karura majesu. I worship your mighty name. I worship you this afternoon, Almighty God. I worship your mighty name. I don't know what you're going through this afternoon. But I just want to praise the Lord for your life, for the life of your family, for the life of your people that surround you, your job, your finances, or anything that concerns you. I ask for the Holy Spirit to cover you. I ask for the blood of Jesus to cover you. I ask for his presence never to, de to depart from you. Whatever it is that is probably worrying you, I ask that the maker of heaven and earth perfect it perfect your concerns he is a great and mighty God it is not an error that you are alive it is not an error that you are watching me this moment it is not an error for whatever is happening in your life but we ask God to perfect anything and every concern we ask God to stand in the gap and intercede on your behalf with groanings that cannot be uttered we ask him to stand in the gap they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I ask for him to renew your strength. I ask for him to renew your, your strength in anything that you do. Whatever you put your strength to, whatever you put your mind to, as long as you wait upon the Lord, he will renew your strength. Even when you are on the verge of giving up whatever you are doing, or whatever that you wanted to do and you're on the verge of giving up I pray that give, that God gives you the strength, the encouragement the endurance that you, you will continue to do those things that you've been dreaming about, those things that you desire to see them come to fruition I ask that God will stand in the gap for you, Lord we bless your name this afternoon, Lord we magnify your holy name Jehovah God we bless your holy name of Jehovah. We praise your mighty name. We exalt your holy name of Jesus. In such a manner like this. We have the freedom to praise you. We have the unogonagana. Some can even lie down on the floor. Some can even be running around all over your house. Whatever way, method you choose to praise him, you have the freedom to do it. You have the right to do it. You can praise your God how you feel better. Methodist, apostolic faith, salvation. I mean, you choose. You have the right to choose. You can choose wherever your spirit is leading you. And we just want to praise his holy name. We just want to exalt your mighty name of Jesus. In the Bible it says, my yoke is lighter. Your burdens are too heavy. Father, we bless your name. We worship your mighty name this afternoon, Almighty God. He's an, an awesome God. Awesome is his name. Diane Pane Zamba Vafuzi Vofugama Dieje Sujosha Misa Diema Boe Gudenga Tofuga Makwari Mutuni Zindiwari Diani Anenzara Sango, 
So today my topic, I don't really have a Bible verse to give you, but I have been listening to the audio Bible on the book of Genesis. And I finished listening to the book of Genesis. It's very encouraging. And if you get time, you can just go on YouTube and listen to the audio Bible on the book of Genesis, the whole book of Genesis. I was so encouraged from the beginning to the end by the events that started from the time the earth was created by God. From the time he created heaven and earth. From the time, I mean, until I got to the point where Abraham was moved by God and he instructed him to go to a country that he was going to lead him to. Terence, can you continue to play in the background? I need to hear some music in the background. And until he had his uh, son, Isaac, and that was the promised child. And anyway, after Isaac, he still had other children. Then we got to the point where um, we, I read about the family of Joseph. Uh, the family of Jacob. Of course, Jacob was the son of Joseph. And I went until I finished the whole book. It was so encouraging. 
Sometimes you just want to dive into the word of God and understand the events of the Bible instead of just waiting for someone to tell you about the Bible or to preach to you about the word of God. It's something that is available to everyone. Anyone can read the word of God and anyone can benefit from the word of God. So I benefited from reading the word of God. He's a great and mighty God. He's worthy to be exalted. I encourage you to just grab your Bible. Either grab your Bible or you can just uh, listen to the audio live on, um, on YouTube. Um, it will um, encourage you. It took me about a day or two to uh, listen to the whole book of Genesis. And I've moved on to Exodus. Of course, I've read the whole Bible. But... I, I try to read it all the time because the word of God never grows old. Can you turn down your volume? The word of God never grows old. The Bible says he's the ancient of days and he never changes. He's not a man that he changes. His word remains the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. The Bible is the manual that we use. It never grows old. The events of the Bible are things that can relate to you in your life today. That's why I encourage you. So my message today basically was um, on relationships. I had, I had written down relationships at the top day. I wanted to discuss about relationships. I'm just going to say a few things about relationships and I will be off the line. So basically, I have been married for 21 years. And next time I can... Um, I can allow people to uh, uh, call in and we can discuss more topics. We discussed this with Sisimeli. So we can call in and we can discuss on a topic that can, um, you know, uplift someone, a topic that can um, help someone that may need some knowledge and understanding. So I've been married for 21 years. So today I'm going to be talking about myself, not anyone. So I got married at 21, no, at 23. So we've been married actually 24. We've been married for 21 years now, me and my husband. Uh, my first baby, I was, hold on, hold on, give me one second, this thing is disrupting me. Okay. So we've been married for 21 years, and so I just decided, let me just discuss a little bit about relationships, how things work, and how for me, how it worked for me as a person, um, I was married and you know when you first get married it's a honeymoon phase and all that and all that and all that you know and then you come to a point where you have to face reality you know when you start having babies you start having bills to pay and all that good stuff I'm just you know paraphrasing I'm not trying to break down the whole topic but it's just something that I wanted to talk about maybe someone here can benefit from it and you know, you have your children. My first one is 20 years old. My second one is 17. My daughter, she's, uh, how old is she? 12. And so you start having babies and you're young. I was 23 when I got married. You're young and you know, you're in a honeymoon phase and your parents are still alive. And reality strikes when you get into your 40s. You begin to change hormonally. Women change and men change, things change. You're not the same anymore. You're not the same person. I'm not the same person I was when I was 23 years old when I got married. I'm a different person now. So reality strikes when you get in your 40s. And in your 40s, I wanna encourage those people that are in their 40s right now, and probably you're still married. That is when many, many, many divorces happen at 40. Many people break up. Many marriages are broken. Many homes are broken. Many relationships are broken when you get in your 40s. Why? Because you're changing. People are constantly changing. Hormonally you change. And the things that you used to like change. You change. Everybody changes. When you are born, you are a baby. When you, Then you become an, uh, an adolescent. And then you become a teenager. And then you become, you know, young, a young adult in your 20s. And then you get to your 30s. The body continues to change. So many people don't realize that the body continues to change as we progress in life. So we want to encourage each other that 
as we are progressing, we are continuing to change. Many people have broken up, they have divorced. As soon as they get into their 40s, some women will be looking at their husband and be like, ah, I could have done better. I can do better than the men that I'm married to. Some men will be saying the same thing. That is when you hear about midlife crisis. People begin to get into this thing called midlife crisis. It's real. It is a real thing because people go through it. You are changing. You're constantly changing. Just look at yourself. When you were born, you were a baby. No teeth in your mouth. You couldn't feed yourself. Somebody had to feed you. Somebody had to nurse you. It's the same thing as you, be I mean, as you become an adult. That process is continuing. It never stops. That process is an ongoing process. And that's why I always encourage people that when you get to a certain place or in my age, I mean, at my age, you have to work out. You have to go to the gym, not only to look good. Yes, I know that when you work out, your body is going to look good. You're going to look beautiful. You're going to look attractive. It is not the only reason why we work out. When you get to 30, the body stops producing muscle. That is just the way the body works. It stops producing muscle. And when you stop producing muscle, it's another change, it's another phase of life. And sometimes people get into depression, stress, and all that is because the body is continuing to change. So we have to work out so that we can continue to regenerate those healthy brain cells. And as we are changing, we are changing. So again, let me get back to my story. So I'm saying, I'm in my 40s right now, right? And so you continue to change. And you also want to continue to read and understand the phase where you are in life because you're going to continue to change. So many people have divorced because they're in their 40s. They thought they're going to find someone better out there. Sometimes people think that they're greener pastures out there. I don't know if there are greener pastures out there. I don't know. So I want to encourage you, if you are with your family, if you are with your husband, try to work with the changes that you're going through. Try to work with the phase that you are in so that you can get an understanding of where you are. Or you can even go to counseling. You can go to a doctor. You can go to whatever counseling that can help you so you can keep your marriage together. Relationships are not easy. They are tough. But you can work on it. You can, it's doable. If I can get to 21 years in marriage, that means anybody else can get there and still be enjoying your marriage. Discover those things that both of you like, or maybe you begin to like other things. I never used to like traveling, but now I like to travel because I have changed. I have evolved. So you continue to evolve instead of leaving that marriage. Maybe I'm speaking to someone right now that was on the verge of divorcing because you are in your 40s. The body continues to change. It never stops changing. My mom died when she was 84 years old. That is another thing that I want to say that as you get in your 40s, your parents, your old parents, they begin to die. You begin to bury them, right? And then we continue to grow. And then we get in our 60s, then we begin to retire. The retirement age is coming. Our children are also growing. They get to their 40s, we begin to die also. And they begin to bury us. But I just want to encourage someone that life changes. People change. We continue to evolve. We continue to get older. We never stop. The process never stops. It continues to move. We continue to move. But the idea behind it is to enjoy that moment. Whatever moment you're in, you want to enjoy that moment. And as you enjoy that moment, remember to praise the Lord. Remember to dive into the word of God. It will encourage you and it will strengthen you. It will um, give you uh, the reason to leave. The reason to wake up and say, thank you, Lord. I am alive and healthy. Change is a continuous thing. We will discuss this topic in depth because I know there are so many people that are going through a lot of changes. And as you are in your 40s, if you are in your 40s, we want to make this a discussion so we can help one another. Know what to do as we get in our 40s and as we continue to advance in age, we want to help one another. Some are even still struggling in their 50s. Some are looking at their wives and their husbands and like, I don't even want to see this person in my life. 
I hate this person. I don't know why I even have kids with this man. I don't know why I have kids with this woman. But it's a continuous chain. So I'm going to do more research on that topic and we will discuss it in depth. I just thought, I mean, I just felt in my spirit that I needed to bring this topic so we can discuss it and just talk about it. Next week, I will have a phone um, that people can call in and we can discuss and if you know someone that is going through something like this share the video with them call them next week so we can discuss this because many many people are married and some are in relationships they don't even know what to do that is when you hear like when women are in their 40s 50s they begin to want to date younger men you know these bent hands and stuff it's a change it is a life change they are experiencing that particular change at that particular moment it is a change of life and you know i remember the times that i used to go around with my you know my daughter would be laughing and having a good time now she's almost a teenager she doesn't you know really enjoy that kind of company anymore she wants to hang with her kids i mean with kids her age it's a phase that she's going through but we just want to educate one another so that as we go through those different changes in life we know what to do Thank you guys for joining me today. That's all I had for today. I know uh, um, it's a Sunday evening in Zimbabwe, in South Africa. It's Sunday evening in the United Kingdom. Many people are in their homes. But I just want to thank you for joining me. I know we have a few of us, but God bless you. And uh, we will continue. Who is this? Alice. Hi, my band. Oh, looks like I missed out who saved the life. Yes, please. Uh, you can watch the live. Once I'm done, I will save it. And you can go back to it and enjoy. God bless you all. And let me just sing one more song. I pray and I get off the live. Father, we bless your mighty name. We give you glory, honor, and adoration. My soul say yes. My son just requested that song. Say yes. Say yes. My soul say yes. Say yes to the Lord. and holy name, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Rose, Matsamba, Alice, uh, Bango, thank you. Be Blackwell, uh, no, Blackwater, sorry. 
Thank you, Mr. Banda. Thank you for joining. God bless you all. Have a lovely day.